So this 21-year-old male right-handed presented to us with headache, vomiting and aggressive behavior from 1.5 years. In past medical history, patient had history of sinusitis and multiple infections related to nose and throat. On examination, patient GCS was 15 by 15 and fully oriented and conscious. Pupils were bilaterally equally active to light and patient was mobilized with no neurological deficit observed. On MRI brain imaging, there is a heterogeneous lesion in interior skull base with meningeal enhancement. So this is the T1 weighted image showing heterogeneously enhancing lesion in interior skull base with meningeal enhancement. So these are the T1 weighted imaging axial and coronal views showing meningeal enhancement and multiple hyper intense lesions. On T2 weighted Im imaging there is hypo intense lesion with surrounding vasogenic edema causing mass fat. So the differential diagnosis would be fungal infection, bony lesions or skull base, metastasis, asthesio neuroblastoma that is olfactory groove neuroblastoma and meningioma. It is most likely fungal infection because it is an in anterior skull base imaging showing invasive lesion with meningeal involvement and there is history of multiple infection patient is immunocompromised point against bony lesion or skull based metastasis is absence of previous malignant history and patient is young point against asthesio neuroblastoma is that there is no evidence of nasal obstruction or, or anosmia and point against meningioma is there is lack of calcification. Plan is to do ESR and CRP test to see for systemic inflammation and MRS brain to differentiate between neoplastic and infectious pathology and biopsy if possible to look for neoplastic or infectious such as fungal disease and CSF analysis if it is safe to perform to rule out infection. Thank you.